questions for my music video, I'm Gavin, and we're gonna call this one Push Roll. Five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. Push and roll. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Push and roll. So at number seven is on Instagram, but if you did it this time, seven, eight. punch, punch, punch. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Ha, ha, yeah. So. Once you get that foundation, then you can kind of start rotating around and going to the side. So we can bring our right leg and your arms can stay loose. All right, woman, if you're anything like me, you probably love to dance, right? You just like maybe at a wedding or at a club or something like that, you're one of the first women out on the dance floor. Like when I ask women um, who I work with when they're looking at incorporating some different kind of ways of taking care of themselves in a healthy way in terms of movement, and I say to them, what is it that you wanna do? How, if you could do anything and be guaranteed um, a toned body and, and weight loss and, and health and, feeling really, really great and sexy, what is it that you would love to do? And they all, every, all the hundreds and hundreds of women that I have worked with has always answered dance. And now for me, I took dance classes, I took Zumba, salsa dancing, I tried hip hopping, I've tried all of it. And I always end up feeling really, really incompetent because I have two left feet. A couple of years ago, one of my girlfriends introduced me to goddess dancing. And I remember, I'll never forget, she said to me, Krisha, this is gonna be like nothing you've ever done before. Wear your hair down. Do not wear any like typical workout um, stuff, dress sexy, and just come with your um, mind wide open. So at this point in my journey, I was still um, not really in touch with my body and I was still quite um, rigid in a lot of ways in terms of, of my body and not really in touch with movement or anything like that. I had been trying some classes, like I said a minute ago, but not really getting into the energetic flow of my body. And what was also happening at the same time for me is that I was starting to awaken sexually having had years of having that part of me shut down because of shame and, and whatnot, I wanted to start to open up sexuality for me and sensuality. And so I was really intrigued by this goddess class. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go with an open mind and see what happens. I'll never forget when the instructor was like, okay, ladies, this is an anything goes kind of class. We're gonna move your body we're gonna dance around, we're gonna turn the lights off and we're gonna dance around and move in the way we actually want to move as opposed to moving in some sort of like rigid way. At this point, I had been used to doing spin classes, like I said, Zumba classes, things like that, where there was like a rhyme and a rhythm to everything, yoga, up, down, sideways, all that kind of stuff. And this introduced me to a whole new world where it was like, move how you wanna move, woman. And I was really uncomfortable with that at first. I was really rigid and I was all in my head and I was so concerned, even though the lights were off, about what all these other women would think about me with my like completely uncoordinated chicken dance moves, right? And it took me a few classes in order to start to feel really relaxed and really into my body and more confident at the fact that, wait a minute, I do have hips. What? What's happening here? There's not even any music going. Wow. What? Oh, guess what? It turns out that women know how to move our bodies. And when we can get out of our heads for just a minute, just long enough to send that energy down into sensuality and into our body and just start to move how we want to move with no choreography, nobody looking at us, nobody caring how it is that we look. And most importantly, 
we don't care how we look. We just want to dance and we just want to move and we just want to flow and we just want to feel the rhythm of the music and we just want to move our bodies how our bodies were designed to be moved. And it was after a while that I started to realize, oh, wait a minute. This limiting belief that I had that I can't dance was stopping me from doing a kind of movement that made me feel so good. It helped me pull up all the gunk that was inside of me so that I could look at it and heal it and love. So that I could feel sexy and sensual in my body with myself and not needing an external source to be able to do that. It took a little while, but now I'm here and I'm totally free flow in this movement. And you'll, it's, you will see me dance on, on public transit. You'll see me dance walking down the street. Hi, I'm Krisha Young and I am here to support women over 40 dance their way into a new future, into their personal power, into speaking their truth, into awakening their inner goddess. As you can tell, dance has been something that has really helped transform my life. Being able to just move my body in that way and get into this kind of flow has enabled me to get out of my head and awaken my intuition and awaken a power within me that I didn't, like it was latent. I didn't even know this power had existed inside of me until I started to wake up this goddess energy in me. And the more I used just free dance and moving my body in this way, the more powerful I started to become in my life. And I was noticing that this power was coming with me in business conversations, um, when I was playing with my children, and when I was, you know, hanging out with my girlfriends, now spending time with my girlfriends was more like kind of goddessy and flirty rather than any kind of comparisonitis or jealousy. And don't even get me started how it's helped things in the bedroom. Dance has been medicine for me in terms of being able to heal a lot of childhood traumas and patterns in my life. It really is a deep go-to thing for me in order to be able to um, help myself feel better when I'm not feeling that great. That's why I include it in my five-day series. In my five-day series, Find Calm in the Chaos, I go through five rituals that you need to start implementing right now in order for you to start feeling more calm while there's all this chaos going on around us so that you can evoke this feminine power within you and be able to approach life and approach business and approach what's happening in the, in the greater world from a place of very centered calm and inner knowing. It unlocks your intuition and opens you up to being able to be much more stronger from a very deeply grounded and rooted place as opposed to thinking yourself out of a problem, now you will be able to come to a very deep sense of inner knowing of how to navigate around the issues and the problems that are happening in your life or in the world at large. So I invite you to come and join me and the several, several, several others who are participating in this five day free, did I say it was free, it's free, series, find calm in the chaos. You're going to go through five different rituals that you're going to be able to start implementing in your life as busy as it is right now in order for you to feel calm, centered, and like the goddess that you are. So come and join us.